Hi guys, today a new video showcasing how to get to the new western region, the desert area, how to side with the cold skin gang which is present in that region, and how to obtain or rather befriend the two new females in the desert region. Now first of all, as a prerequisite to get to the desert region, you need to be at least level 60 and have defeated the first Vagabond, which is a really early event. If you then move on the world map, you will encounter this Vagabond, and you have to defeat him twice. Should be rather simple. In the second fight, you will obtain a buff due to the so-called Blood Jewel, but it should not be that impactful. After you've completed the fight, you will unlock the location of the Jade Gate, which is your path to the western region. There are multiple options. You could either use the token, force your way through, showing the token is the fastest method, and then you obtain or you rather get to this tea merchant event. If you back away, you will get lost in the desert and lose 20,000 coin. So it's recommended to simply guard him. It's the same outcome in the end, you just get slightly more money for a single fight, so why not do it? You will agree to be the merchant, only then get do you get the location of the inn. You head to the inn. You can help the man out if you'd like, or rather we would like to, because this is a member of the Cold Spin Gang. So next up we are in the inn, a very important detail is do not interact with this guy if you want to join the cold skin gang. Now what you want to do is you want to head here, trigger this event which causes this guy to walk up. Then you go into the room and he will say you've trespassed because it's during the night, you can also do it during the day. Win the battle, skip the dialogue afterwards, which sadly cannot be skipped with escape. Now what I typically do is I go down the stairs, up the stairs, meditate for a bit and then enter the room. This has been the most consistent method for me. Sometimes it takes a while. What you want to get is an event where two people fight. And obviously it doesn't want to show up again. At some point it will show up. Seriously. There you go. Perfect. These two will fight. Now if you would like to do the Holy Fire sect quest line you should help Ren Jong Hong. However we wanna do the cold skin gang as such we help Shu Wen Xiu. We help him beat up this guy. The important thing is when killing him in this combat you don't lose relation with the holy fire sect. And that is extremely vital as we wanna recruit or rather befriend the girl from that sect. Afterward, you can also give her some items, get her to high relation, help out the old hunchback. Then you can heal, you either need high medical skill yourself or a party member needs to have it. Now next up what you can also do to improve your favor with the cold skin gang to make 
future things a bit easier. So you can gift him some items to improve relation and you can heal this guy. Now if you pick the second option you will permanently lose 1000 max AMP. So it's not recommended. You can either use a pill in order to get a manual from him or you can use your medical skill. Now the next thing is just waiting for the black sandstorm to pass, which happened now. And now we learned about the flame city. The important part about the flame city is to not go into the inn. Going into the inn will actually mess up the questline. Now you saw we meditated a bit and in that case High Tongue will offer another quest, which is to deliver a letter to the Holy Fire the sect. Now that we have the location of the Holy Fire sect, we will head there. It's important, once again, to not visit the inn in Flame City. Now, in this case, we will simply bribe the guards and we get access to the sect. The thing we want to do is to, first of all, deliver the letter to her we've gotten from Hai Tong. You can also give her some items. Here we can deliver the letter. We can accept her quest. And most importantly, we will listen to her sorrows during the night. So you meditate a bit till it's 11 p.m. She will come out of the building at some point. There you go. She should walk all the way up here. Okay, in this case, maybe I block, ah, I will most likely block the position. And you will chat with her, you will listen to all her sorrows, and you do this four times total. This time she actually could walk up here because I didn't block the position. You simply skip the dialogue. And that's it. Now we can actually head to the Flame City. So we will go to the Flame City, skip every animation there is, Skip everything there is. Most importantly, avoid the inn. Do not go inside of the inn. We will head up here, we will state our name. Because we felt Tim, we will be granted access. Now we can talk with everyone. Also give them some gifts. Now at some point, and that's the event, the Azure Dragon will visit. And that's an important quest part, so this needs to happen. In this case we will simply enter, we can skip all the dialogue, interact with this leader, and we are tasked with fighting, finding the second master. It's relatively easy the moment you move away from the city, you get the location. You can skip all the dialogue once more. It's a simple fight against some um, fodder, cannon fodder. Once you've completed that quest, you can head back to the cold skin guy. You will see the cutscene and everything, so you know you've done the right thing. So now you're tasked with finding the Flame Toad. If you want to recruit Hu De Nuo, what you gotta do first, and it's very vital that you do it now before you enter the Flame Sand Cave, 
is you need to listen to his sorrows when drinking. It's done in the exact same way as with the girl. You wait till it's 11 p.m. Then he will head down to this tavern. I don't see much of a tavern. I only see a bench and a table, but each to their own. At some point, after he has walked two miles or so, he will finally show up. You go, here he is. Now you can simply drink with him, listen to his sorrows, agree with him. And now you gotta do the same thing multiple times again. And now the last time, the fourth time, and here it's quite important that at the end of it you disagree with him. And you will then beat him up, classic wuxia style. And once you have done this, you will unlock his quest line in the uh, new cave, the fl a flame sand cave, and you can do that as well. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now you can see, okay, flame toad cave, sorry, not flame sand cave. Very quick detail. Be sure to put your pet into the homestead. Once you enter the cave, you lose access to your homestead and you have to recruit a toad after all. As such, do it beforehand. Now we beat up the toad as well. Not just the man, but also the toad. Then we simply tame the toad, adopt it, and try to leave. And you will get the next event. And if you have drank with him four times, he will fight alongside you, and it will be slightly different in terms of plot. Now you simply head back to the Flame City, to the Cold Skin Gang. You interact with the leader, he's gonna ask you to head inside the flame sand cave to treat the second master, Zetian. Now he will also ask you to stand guard, you can simply do so, defend this position, get some trustworthy. You inform that permission has been granted, head into the cave. Here, by the way, you can mine Blood Jewels, which are extremely underwhelming. Now you can simply skip everything once more. And now they actually ask you to get uh, to go to the inn. However, we don't want to do it yet. You can also gift him some gifts. I would recommend not doing his quest. Now, we do not want to enter the inn yet. Instead, we want to head to the Holy Fire Sect and complete Feng Xuanyi's questline, which entails saving the innkeeper as well. But first, we go to her, hand in the other quest. Afterwards, she will have a new quest regarding her good friend being attacked, assassinated in the inn. As such, we first do this. Imagine it being a side quest you have to do. Because it's essentially that. Charge in immediately, kill all the assassins. Perfect. Now you can head inside, help her out. Or rather, it's a cutscene and people will leave. Oh, never mind, there is a fight, in fact. It's a fight. So boring, you almost forget about it.
Now, since we are already here, we can also turn in the quest and obtain the quest to kill the envoy somewhere in our journal. No, somewhere Chang'an in Deep Hatred to kill someone to venture hatred. Next up, we want to go back to the Holy Fire sect again, hand in the quest from Fung, get a new quest, which is to recruit somebody. Bam, bam, bam. Now, to get the next quest from her, you will need to have uncovered the Biling Mountain, which is an, a location in the southwestern region, unlockable by doing the 10,000 Beast Mana questline. It's long story short, do the 10,000 Beast Mana questline first, afterward you can continue this questline. Okay, so now we are at the mountain, we can interact with him, you can also gift him some gifts, and now we will head back to the Holy Fire sect again. And now we're back at the sect again, we can talk with her, interact with her. Next up, I would advise to increase your relation with the different party members by gifting them some gifts. It will help later on have to have enough opinion with them so that you can still recruit the White Tiger Envoy. If the relation with the sect is relatively low, you could have issues with them becoming hostile. And now we can finally head to the inn. There will be an event regarding a new treasury or rather an old treasury, but a new treasure map for it appeared. And you will be forced into this battle which can take ages. So we will see each other in a while. Now what feels like 10 minutes later, we won the fight. Next fight starts between the two deck leaders, but as you can see, they barely deal damage to each other. If the sect leader you control, which is the uh, cold guy, loses the battle, your main character will fight instead. So typically you will always win. So see you in another minute. Okay, our guy has won. And now we will unlock the location of the Divine Ox Treasury. Now, if you did what I told you to increase the relation with the sect, these disciples will not become hostile, nor will they when you enter the sect. And you can complete your next quest, which is to recruit the guy at the mountain we were just at. And that's exactly what we are going to do now. Interact with him. You can now invite him to your party and head back to the Divine Fire sect. Okay, so we are back again, we can interact with her. And now we can go to the Orcs Treasury. So we simply go and enter it, fight all kinds of battles. Okay, so after you have fought your way through it, you are now at the door. You can open it using either of these three methods. You can just smash the door in. Head up here and a new event will trigger. In this case they ask you whether you want to donate some of the treasure to the cold skin sect or gang. If you give everything to them, you will gain an additional legendary plate weapon and plate manual. So it's recommended to give them everything. Afterward, a fight will trigger. We can simply skip forward again, it's not that important. The only special thing about it, let's say, is this Shura Master, who is relatively strong. Relatively, as I said. He's a one hit, but he's somewhat stronger than other characters.
Nameless sword, hold up. Hold up. This random guy has nameless sword and skybreaker sword and it's called E. And D. Killer secret, damn. 13 sutras. What is that equipment? Perfect, there you go. Now by interacting with the steel you can also get some additional rewards, but I'll be honest, they are not that amazing. Some legendary gift items, that's it. Now we gotta leave this place again and fight our way through all of these machinery puppets. Okay, perfect, now we can go to the Flame City. And you will obtain the task to deal with the sect leader of the Holy Fire sect. Once the sect leader is in the sect. First of all, he will give you the rewards for the Ox Treasury. So if you interact with him again, you get the flaming plate and the dragon. And well, as you can see, we can invite him into the party. We can invite him. We can invite him. And now we will actually deal with the Divine Fire Sect. Ah, oh, there you go. Perfect. There is the quest. Nemesis. Yep. Cause a ruckus during his retreat. So we head to the Holy Fire Sect again. We go back into his seclusion hall. Obviously charged in. And if you have completed the quests of the two of them, they will join you in the fight. Now it's recommended to actually pay attention in this fight as he's rather strong. But rather still relative. And we have dealt with it. By killing the sect leader you will also obtain his unique internal manual called the Veda scripture as well as a unique cloth which is called freedom which is a weapon typically you obtain it dragon slayer wait a second we obtained the dragon slayer glove sorry you obtain or is it the Veda scripture? From Feng Xuanyi, you obtain the Luminary Meteor Strike. As you can see, we have also bonded her currently. If we head back to the Bailing Mountain, we can now also recruit the Envoy. There you go. Ah, <sighs> I hate it so much. Okay, so we are back at the sect again. In this case, we will hold a party you've never seen before, but that's not important. The more important next thing is the other girl. So now we will head to the Chang'an Inn. Tell her that we have avenged her. And if she, we can now invite her into the party. And if you go to the marriage shrine, you can also marry her. And lastly, you could also invite the other cold skin gang members besides the sect leader. He is not recruitable at the moment. So you can recruit or rather invite all three of them. I don't have enough party space though. And that's about all you can get while following the Cold Skin Gang. You have obtained three possible party members from the Cold Skin Gang. 
another party member from the Holy Fire sect and two wives. Two wives, exactly.